Politics is stupid. But you know what's really stupid? Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, yeah, they're both stupid. I said it. You want to know why? Because it's all a fucking farce. It's all just a game that people play, right? Democrats versus Republicans. Back and forth. Both sides are the evil tyrants who want to destroy America, right? Republicans are all kill everybody who's a minority, kill the poor, screw everyone else, and propagate the rich forever, right? And hate rights while you're at it. And then Democrats. Democrats are the ultra-liberal, bleeding-heart hippies who want to destroy the wealthy and all embrace communism. And they all hate America, right? This is all true because, well, somewhere in this whole equation, we forgot that we're all Americans in this country. That Democrat or Republican, we're all kind of on a boat together here. A big, giant Earth boat. And we're all just on a boat here floating along in the ocean of space. Yeah, we're all here together. I sincerely doubt both sides, I'm addressing you, that the other side actually hates America. That goes for both Democrats and Republicans. I have issues with both parties, but, you know, at its core, I actually don't think either side hates America and is somehow a secret Muslim or fascist conspiracy or Nazis or whatever, you know, some kind of secret devious conspiracy to destroy America. Looking mostly at you Republicans right now. Because that's who I hear it from big time right now, is all the Democrats hate America. Or they hate freedom, or they hate something that obviously they don't, and we all know it. But it comes from the Democrats, too, where I hear it where, you know, all the Republicans want to burn everyone who's a minority, and they're all white power, and they're all super rich, or they all hate, you know, everyone. That sort of thing, and it's, it's stupid. It's really, really stupid. And let's just get that out in the open. It's a bunch of hyperbole. It's a bunch of nonsense. And I think deep down we all know it. Uh, if you're sitting there spouting off your vitriol about how your party is right and the other one's wrong, well, I'm pretty sure somewhere deep down inside you probably know that you're taking things too far. Be and if you don't, well, it's about time you actually got acquainted with reality again because I'm sorry, it's not one party is America and the other is evil. But it's both parties have a differing view of how to take this country in a forward progression, right? I think in the end we can all agree that we want what's good for ourselves. To somehow say that one side or the other wants to some commit some kamikaze-like self-destruction to destroy America on some half-baked scheme that was 200 years in the making? I mean, it, it doesn't follow in any fashion. This claim that either side is somehow anti-American or evil or totally destructive. What we have here is a simple problem that has come through time and ages, which is disagreement about the future. It happens between everybody, right? I think we should do something, someone thinks we should do something else. What that doesn't do is make one of us or the other of us evil. Now, if they were advocating, well, let's just genocide on all of these people, right? We don't need them. Fine, they're evil then. Disagreeing with your vision of the future does not make somebody evil. And that goes for both sides here. We might think, hey, they're wrong. Hey, they're misguided. Hey, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. But what I'm really getting tired of here, and what we all really need to start yelling at people for, is this idea that some side here actually is some Islamic, fascist, stupid, conspiracy thing, nonsense, bullshit, that has something to do with destroying America and its ideologies and its freedoms. That, that's nonsensical, farcical bullshit, and we all know it. And really, I don't have a creative or nice constructive lesson to come out of this here because, well, I just have to point at this and say, this is stupid. This is all stupid here. It's going on in front of my face because of the elections, and I can't stop thinking about how dumb this all is. Because in the end, we're all Americans. We all know we're all Americans, and we're all on this country boat thing together, and we all know it. So let, let's actually stop pretending that the other side is lock and step marching Nazi evil, and let's start working things out a little bit, huh? We have two parties. It's not going to change anytime soon, so let's use them for something other than carrying on nonsensical diatribe. It's just something to think about, I guess, or not, because apparently people don't want to think. Now we have a press that just gives him a free pass because he's black, so he doesn't have to work hard like the rest of us who play by the rules. That is the world we live in.